The world's attention has turned to nutrition in recent years and stunting has taken center stage on the global development agenda. But with this attention has come confusion about what stunting really means and how it affects people's life. This confusion also relates to linear growth retardation. But here I'll simply refer to them together as stunting. Stunting is commonly believed to cause many serious problems including delayed child development, reduced work capacity in adulthood, higher incidence of chronic diseases like obesity or cardiovascular problems, difficult childbirth, and poor birth outcomes such as low birth weight. But if this were true, then removing stunting would lead to improvements in all of these outcomes. But is this causal thinking correct? We carefully reviewed the evidence. In fact, stunting causes only two of these outcomes, difficult childbirth and poor birth outcomes. For the other outcomes, the story goes as follows. Stunting is caused by the deficient environment in which children grow up. Deficient environments provide too little food to children or food without enough nutrients or cause children to get sick all the time. Deficient environments produce a lot of problems, including delayed child development, lower work capacity and chronic diseases. Stunting does not cause these problems, but the deficient environment does. We need to differentiate between two distinct uses of stunting. First, since stunting can be a direct cause of difficult childbirth and poor birth outcomes, it is an outcome of interest in and of itself. And second, Stunting is a marker of a deficient environment and it predicts future problems. To explain this distinction better, let's use an analogy. When the smoke detectors in my house go off, I call the firefighters. The firefighters do not come to turn off the smoke detectors. They come to extinguish the fire. Stunting is much like a smoke alarm. It shows that the environment for these children is deficient. It also shows that the future for these children looks grim. The narrow focus on stunting is a bit like focusing on the smoke alarm and ignoring the fire. The focus of the nutrition community should be on the fire, or in our case, the deficient environment. And our efforts should focus on reducing the impact the fire has on outcomes that truly matter, such as child development, schooling, adult earnings, and chronic disease. We should continue to use stunting as a marker of deficient environments and of future problems, just like we use smoke alarms. Stunting can be used to compare countries and regions and to track progress over time. The key change is in how we direct our nutrition actions. We need to focus on improving the deficient environment children grow up in if we really want to prevent the severe negative effects these environments have on children's health and well-being. Just like we put out the fire before it causes irreversible damage.